Hey guys, so um, been going through a couple of things, a uh, bit of this and that, but the high point of everything is my mom's came to visit. It's been a couple of months since I last saw her. It's been a whirlwind of memories, uh, stories about some shit that went down back in the day that I didn't know about. I grew up with four brothers. Uh, our house was full of so much tassero. Because it was just us four plus my dad and my mom. I said, my mom was the only female in the house. She she basically had to develop balls of steel to deal with us. So th this video is for her. I, said, I don't know if she's actually she's in the back. I don't know if she can hear me doing this video. But um, th this video is for her. I'm going to edit it out. I'm going to send her a copy. She's not necessarily going to visit YouTube for the shit. So I'm, I'm going to have to send it to her. So this one instant... <laughs> She reminded me of something. When we were about eight, I was eight, my big brother was, I think, 12 at that time. And contrary to what you see now, uh, back in the day, none of us loved to eat. We all had uh, eating problems. Not eating disorders, we had eating problems. My big brother could not eat a full chapati when he was young. Um, basically, he had a problem processing an entire chapati. So, he always told my mom that I want a quarter, not a half, not a, I want a quarter. My mom decided that she's gonna play a trick on this little nigga and she folded up. Uh, you know how you can fold it once and twice and it forms that little quadrant? And she placed it on his plate and this nigga is, he was smart. He didn't take that lying down. So she flips it up like this and counts the many pages and goes like, you know what? <laughs> you guys are trying to fuck with me. And in that instance, he used to flip out. He used to flip out and go to sleep. And then his instance was, Ah, mom, you can't even your fortune, daddy, I'm going to sleep. So we chuckled about that for a couple of minutes. And then I'm here laughing at my brother. And my mom decided to remind me about my hiccups. So apparently, I am changing my approach to these videos. Yes, they are supposed to be funny. Yes, they're based on my life, but... I want to try and have an impact on the people out there so a lot of people have asked me why I do these videos I do them because they I they are my platform this is where I want to start this is the this is where I want to begin what I want to do my dream for this my distant vision is uh, to do a special like a serious special not no offense to what uh, the church will show anything like that but I want to do a special something like um, the Pimp Chronicles, uh, that, that, that kind of stuff, because that's the kind of comedy that I like. That's the kind of stuff that I'm into, but that's a story for another day. So I started doing my videos, and I use my phone to shoot my videos. Um, a lot of people want to do stuff out there, but they are thinking about what to do. They need this, they need that. Fine, you may need a lot of stuff, but you can always start from somewhere. As in, you can always start with what you have and get, you, and get to where you want to be. So... My sign off for today is you are where you need to be as of now. So do what you need to do now to get where you want to be then. Okay? Listen to that part over and over again. I'm not going to say it again because I don't believe I can quote it back word for word. But basically, start somewhere. You can't keep waiting for everything to fall in place for you to do what you want to do.